to Brands Hatch in Kent for the 47th running of the BRSCC Formula Ford Festival. This is the big one, the most prestigious Formula Ford race in the world, the one they all want to win. Let's head down to the Holden Bay for race one. Joshua Smith setting the qualifying time for Heat 1, 50.214 around the Indy circuit here at Brands. Niall Murray with him on the front row. It's a strong entry for Heat 1. Keith Donegan is third from Carter Williams. Guillaume Archambault next from Jonathan Brown. Jeffrey Orion and Noel Robinson ahead of an all-Scottish row five. Sebastian Melrose and Michael McPherson. Felix Fisher, Gary Sykes next from Connor Murphy and Steve Barlow. Mark Armstrong and Jordan Harrison on row eight. Row nine, Flashman, Finneran and Andrew Blair. Derek M. Daly, 19th from Ian Jerry. The grid completed by Terry Walkingshaw and Dan Rene Larson. Joshua Smith on pole in black. 2013 Van Diemen, another Van Diemen alongside him, or just further back, is Niall Murray, the white with the uh, colours along the side. They make a good start. Murray slots into second place. The top four away well. Smith, Murray, Donegan, Carter Williams and Canadian scholarship man Guillaume Archambault in fifth place. There's some um, toing and throwing going on down towards the back, but it's a good start from Josh Smith, the 18-year-old Cumbrian. Winner of the Avon Tyres Northern Formula 4 1600 Championship post 89 last year. A good start from him. Let's see what he can do from the front row of the grid. That's uh, Connor Murphy going a little bit wide. Then loses the place, I think, to Steve Barlow. Let's have a look as they come through Surtees. So it is Barlow up front in the black car. Then. Connor Murphy behind him in the Marlborough livery and then immediately behind them the orange car is Mark Armstrong in one of the pre-82 cars but out front Joshua Smith coming under pressure here from Niall Murray as they go into Panic Hill Ben Murray looks like he was really on the attack and maybe looking to go up the inside line and as they head up towards Druids he's going through on the inside line Niall Murray is through going into Druids Super move going into Druids, textbook Formula Ford, but we haven't seen the last of Josh Smith yet. Smith will try and get the position back, but it's Niall Murray, of course, did the double in 2016. Walter Hayes winner and festival winner, and looking to do it again, and Josh Smith will be putting pressure on him. Niall Murray, of course, this year's national champion, won the Triple Crown as well. Both of those from Michael Eastwell, who we'll see later on in the meeting. So across the line goes Murray now in front. Good battle going on. As we go on to the last lap now, battle for third. It's Murray from Donegan out front. Joshua Smith is in third. Then Carter Williams, Guillaume Archambault is next. And a really good battle going on between these guys. There is Guillaume in the white 23 car. Jonathan Brown immediately behind him. Niall Murray's going to take this one with fastest lap, which he set back on lap seven of the 15 as this super battle for third place goes along Cooper Strait. It looks to me as if the pole man, Joshua Smith, he's going to be frustrated with third position here, but it still puts him in the front end of things what you don't want at this stage is a dnf so he's going to be up towards the sharp end as Niall murray takes the win keith donegan in second place josh smith is being challenged hard for third place but he beats carter williams guillaume archibald is next then jonathan brown in six from jeffrey orion felix fisher is eighth from michael mcpherson gary sykes completing the top 10 Connor murphy next from Sebastian Melrose, then Andrew Blair and Steve Barlow in 14th. Good opening race the weekend though for Niall Murray. Niall Murray, Heat 1 winner, um, festival winner 2013-2016. Um, I was speaking to someone this morning and they said that you were the favourite and that certainly uh, persuaded things in your direction with a dominant win. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'll push all that uh, favourite pressure onto Michael Issa. He's been the quickest all week and quickest this morning during qualifying as well. but. You know, I, I've been racing them all year. I think I can outrace them. I uh, might not have the outright pace, but uh, we found a couple of things with the car and a couple of things in my driving lines as well um, that, I, that I was struggling with all week. Um, but I managed to get right there in the heat. So, yeah, no, the pace is there. Um, I, yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to tomorrow. Keith, uh, well done. Uh, you came really, really close to winning the festival last year. Um, this morning, someone said that you were a dark horse, I think is how they described you for this one. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right. Um, I'm usually the underdog. Last year I was really the underdog. We came from sixth on the grid. 
Joey just bet us last year, so we're back again trying it this year. Um, yeah, that heat was okay. It wasn't entirely the plan. I wanted to win it, but uh, we've definitely got some things to work on. Hopefully, we'll come back out in the semi stronger and maybe take the win there. Josh, um, disappointment in your face. I can see it because it's pole to third. It's always, it always hurts, but you mentioned a small problem with the car. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it a small problem. I'd call it quite a big problem. I, I, I basically was really struggling to turn the car. Um, I was trying everything out there. I just had to crank more and more locking, and uh, it was it was a general struggle to keep it on the circuit. But it was just damage limitation. I was quite comfortable sat behind Nile, um, just banging in mid 50.5, 50.6. It was it was comfortable, but obviously then uh, the 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 issue occurred. So I was just like, just bring it home, bring it home. Formula Ford Festival heat number two is lining up behind me again. Actually hot conditions here at Brands Hatch. Sun's setting a little bit, but as you will see, everybody with a tinted visor on here. Matthew Cowley, who ran really strong at the festival last year, continuing that form this year in the same car back on the front row. But you'll notice a familiar face here on pole position for heat number two, Neil McLennan, who ended up on pole position for the grand final last year, finishing third overall. Neil, back at the festival, we've not seen too much of you this year. You had a great festival last year with pole position. You almost won it. Got a really good chance now in one of Kevin Mills' spectrums. Yeah, cheers, Joe. Um, yeah, last year was very close between me and Joey, but no, it was a really, really good race. Hopefully this year we can try and get the win. Um, been here testing with Kevin in this car, and yeah, it's absolutely faultless. I couldn't, it's just absolutely delighted the car. Well, you've got off to the best start that you could. Good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers. And with that, I will hand it to Richard. Formula Ford heat number two, heading out on track. Neil's pole time, 50.506. Matt Cowley with a 50.515, very tight. The front of the grid for heat two. Jake Craig and Chris Middlehurst, row two. Stuart Goff and Ivan McCullough on row three. Then Peter Dempsey and Tom MacArthur. Abdul Ahmed next from Max Maserati. Adriano Medeiros and Matt Chisholm followed by Rick Morris and Jack Kemp, Sam Street and Dan Fox on row eight. Row nine of the grid, Stuart Kestenbaum and Michael Thompson. Thomas Johansson with Nicholas Gibson next up from James E. Hagen and Fraser Gray. So the second third of this mammoth quality entry for the 47th Formula Ford Festival is there and away we go, lights out. A good start from pole man Neil McLennan. Matt Cowley was a little bit slower than he would have liked. And Jake Craig from Team USA goes down the inside line. It's a fraught start. They all know that the higher up they finish, the better the grid position for the semi-finals. Uh, but it's Neil McLennan made a super start. It's the young American, Jake Craig from Orange County, California, who's in second place, third position. He's back, Cowley, he's got work to do. And that's the Royale of Rick Morris that has spun out there on the exit of Druids. Rick gets it going in that car incident, the last Royale designed in 1981 by Pat Simmons, who went on to work for Williams in Formula One. So it's not just drivers who have their roots in F4, it's engineers as well. Look at this battle here, Max Maserati coming under pressure from Abdul Ahmed. Those two tied together on the grid, they're still battling hard, which is wonderful to see so some super formula ford racing here we've got newcomers in the festival once again plus some very experienced drivers it's fair to say the complexion of the festival has changed over the years as maserati has a, a good look to try and and uh, deal with abdul ahmed but out front still neil mclennan from jake craig It's now the battle for the lead through on the inside. Matt Cowley goes through, <coughs> having dealt with the American. He was back in third at one point, goes a little bit sideways there, collects it up. So Cowley now through up into the lead. It's a four way dice for the lead with Chris Middlehurst in the mix as well. Craig on the outside line. Middlehurst is up into third place, but it's Matt Cowley leading this one at the moment. Neil McLennan, the Scott, he's trying to fight back. The white car with the blue trim. I tell you what, Jake Craig. Having been in second, it's going to be a little bit disappointing. Less experience of the Brand Hatch circuit for the young American. But Matthew Cowley was back in third earlier on in this race, and he's fought back, and he's got the lead here. This is going to be a sensational win for Cowley if he can do it. Craig's got the fastest lap, though, at the moment. Back on lap five as they come out of the Clark curve onto the Brabham straight, cross the line, and go on to the last lap of heat two. 
a four-way battle for the lead. The fastest man, I remind you, is in fourth place here. And Craig's going to have a look up the inside line of Chris Middlehurst here. In fact, he goes on the outside line as they go up to Drews. Middlehurst is piling the pressure on Neil McLennan for second position. And the fact that we've got second, third and fourth closer together means that Matthew Cowley has a little bit of breathing space here. And out front, this is going to give him a great starting position for the semi-finals. Neil McLennan will be ruining the fact that uh, he couldn't win from pole, but it's a strong second place for him. Middlehurst still in third, but coming under pressure from Jake Craig, who looks on the inside line with a bit more circuit knowledge as the weekend builds. Craig is going to be one to watch, but it's Cowley that takes the win. McLennan second, Chris Middlehurst a fine third, Jake Craig in fourth, then Peter Dempsey and Stuart Goff, Tom McArthur seventh from Abdel Ahmed, Adriano Medeiros and Max Maserati in 10th place. Matt Cowley, heat winner. Um, you came really close to winning the festival last year. You were certainly fighting at the front at the start of the final and this is a good way to start your, uh, your attack for tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Last year we were really strong. Unfortunately, there was an incident in the final which put us back. But coming back stronger than ever, hopefully same thing again except not have the incident and win. Neil, back at the festival, um, my favourite to win. Um, I think last year you came so close, pole position, led the final, ended up third. We spoke to you before the race there again, and I know I'm putting a little bit of pressure on you, but a fantastic start, but didn't quite go to plan. Yeah, fuck sure. Um, no, didn't quite go to plan, got a really good start for, and then we did get a gap, so it looked good, it looked promising at first, but no. I walked away because I thought it was over. <laughs> no, no. Um, no, I think tyres just got too warm towards the end and then just started to lose grip, so just got to go try for the semi now and try to make a few changes, see what happens, but yeah, that was a bit of a struggle towards the end, but no, I'm happy enough. Uh, Chris, a veteran, I'm going to call you a veteran now, of the festival and being bloody close to winning it as well a couple of times, but tomorrow, is this going to be your day? Hope so, yeah, definitely a yeah, good race there, battling with the guys at the front, so uh, third place, I'll take that for now and uh, yeah, work on it tomorrow, the set up overnight and try and uh, yeah, go for a podium again in the semi and then look forward to the final. Well done. Thanks very much. Formula Ford Festival, heat number three, and the sun is now really low at this stage. Pole position is the quickest man so far. Michael Eastwell went the quickest in qualifying this morning than anybody else. So you could statistically say he is so far the favorite, and he's got Ollie White alongside him on the front row. I'm going to hand this one to Richard and he'll take us through all the action of heat number three. Thank you, Joe. It is indeed Michael Eastwell on pole. Ollie White alongside Matt around Gary Doe next from Colin Mullen. Joey Foster and Rory Smith on row three. David McCullough and Luke Cooper on the fourth row. Row five, Henry Chart and Jason Down. Very good to welcome Vincent Rademacher here. John Svensson alongside. Then Ryan Campbell and Tom Hawkins, Alan Davidson. And the Swiss, Pascal Montbaron, then it is Adam Fathers, David Nicholl, Henry Campbell, the McCullers, Ashley ahead of Ian, and then James Graham completing the grid. Okay, pick up the action. Third and final group of drivers of this year's entry. The lights are on, and a last heat is underway. Eastwell gets away well, so too does Ollie White in the all red car, closing up on Eastwell and looking on the outside line as they go up into Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. It's a great Formula Ford start. Now, are we going to see our first lights to flag victory? Most people are betting on Michael Eastwell to do that. He leads them into Druids for the first time. Third position, Matt Round Garrido. Then it's um, Colin Mullen, the second of the Team USA scholarship drivers that we've seen in this meeting. Some very fraught action going on there down at Graham Hill Bend on lap one as they sort themselves out. Heading into the sun along Cooper Strait, then into Surtees and McLaren. So a good start to this race as we watch the 61 car of Alan Davidson. The Irishman, they're slowing up, so somebody I think has gone off. They're slowing up. Oh, and Pascal Montbaron goes into the back of another car. They all checked up. The safety car had been deployed, I think for Ashley McCullough but it's caused other problems so well at least we get a sort out but that won't help Pascal Montbaron in the red car who pulls up onto the grass it's at the Walter Hayes Festival last year Pascal but not the way he wanted to start he's going to have to go into the last chance race ultimately maybe to get into the final a 
be off the back in the semis, might be able to make some progress, uh, very possibly. So, oh, there's the car in the gravel at Paddock Hill Bend. Now, the ramifications, as we see Pascal safely out of his car, but that, that car damaged. I'm surprised he didn't do damage. I think it was John Svensson's car he might have hit. So I'm surprised Svensson's car wasn't damaged as well. Um, hands aloft. Well, we go racing once again here. And Michael Eastwell, runner-up in the national championship to Niall Murray. Third was Matt Round Garrido. So that gives you an idea of who's where in this event Joey Foster running well Joey Foster running in third place it's Michael Eastwell well clear from Molly White but the ramifications of the safety car means that this will be a slower heat and therefore the faster heat positions get the uh, the preferential starting places on the grids for the semi-finals Joe will tell you more about that later on I'm sure but Michael Eastwell it's been a dominant performance here the 22 year old from Southampton last year had uh, third in the last chance race finished 18th in the festival overall but had a super year this year as we've mentioned and he is going to take the win in heat three here of the 2018 formula ford festival and it's a convincing win after that initial safety car very nearly three seconds clear to take the flag now michael eastwell convincingly wins heat three with oliver white second jay foster is third matt round garrido fourth from Colin Mullen, then Rory Smith from David McCullough, Alan Davidson in eighth, Jason Down ninth, and Vincent Rademacher completing the top ten. Michael, um, everyone's saying you're the favourite, quickest in qualifying. I mentioned that before the race, and then you proved it in the race by getting a mega restart and basically driving away. Well, I haven't heard that I'm the favourite yet, but uh, no, it's nice to hear that. Um, no, we've had a, a really great day, so um, we've done as much as we can today. Uh, unfortunately, we will be the slowest heat, uh, given the safety car. <laughs> it seemed to last forever. Um, there but was a cheer from um, Neil McLennan and the rest of the guys up on the podium when the safety car came out because they knew that it would slow you down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's it's um, we got some good uh, inter-team sort of rivalry at the moment, so... Um, it's been a really good day for the team, so uh, yeah, I think we should all be really proud of Kevin Mills Racing Team, so yeah, big thanks to the guys. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Ollie, you had the hardest job there. Um, the leader was gone, Joey was attacking, but you were the guy having to try to hold station. That's right, yeah, well Michael got a really good restart, so you know, really there was a gap immediately, and then the guys behind me had a slipstream. So really, once Michael got away, it was all about hanging on for second. Joey Foster, uh, festival winner last year, obviously, but that doesn't count now. You've got to do it again tomorrow. And a good start there, obviously, up to third from fifth. Yeah, it's a, it a tough heat, so I just wanted to try and make as much progress as I could um, without taking too many risks. Obviously, There was a, quite a few risks going into paddock here, I saw. <laughs> yeah, they were calculated. I sort of put the nose up the inside a couple of times, but Ollie had it covered. There, there was no way there was, he was going to leave the door open. So, um, yeah, I sort of decided just to tuck him behind him and, and just any opportunity to put my nose up the inside and see if he'd make a mistake, but he, he never did. Camtech Security semi-final number one for the Formula Ford Festival is almost ready to go. It's actually Niall Murray who will be on pole position lined up alongside. He's not here yet, but I've got Michael Eastwell and um, Neil McLennan here. The two Kevin Mill racing cars lined up second and third. First of all, Michael, for me, I'm going to put a load of pressure on you here and say that you're the, the favourite to win this so far with the dominant heat win yesterday front row of the grid for the semi-final you need to make it to the front yeah definitely um no it's probably the toughest semi-final in all honesty but um no me and me and neil are looking for a good race um the cars are quick and hoping to move forward a position would be would be nice yeah niall murray is not here yet so i can't speak to him but if i was him i'd feel a little bit concerned that he's got two kevin mill racing cars um around him and you guys have obviously got a plan you're going to work together oh uh, yeah yeah that's the plan um as michael says we're going to have a good race hopefully um, but yeah, the plan is just to work together, stay at the front and give some, let, let now have some hassle under him. So, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I remember, you don't need to win this one. No, it's, it's for the final event, definitely, but uh, it, it would be nice to get ahead of him for this one. Niall's having it too easy at the moment, so <laughs> let's try and bring the fight to him. Right, good luck, guys. And with that, I will hand it to Richard. Remember, it's the top 16 that will make it through to the grand final. Niall Murray on pole, Michael Eastwell is alongside him then Neil McLennan and Josh Smith from Joey Foster and Jake Cray, Guillaume Archambault and Colin Mullen completing row four. Row five, Stuart Goff and 
Jeffrey Oriol, then it's David McCullough and Abdul Ahmed from Michael McPherson and Jason Down. Max Maserati on the eighth row with Connor Murphy. Row nine, John Svensson and Jack Kemp, followed by Andrew Blair. Adam Fathers, 20th, 21st on the grid. Dan Fox with Jordan Harrison alongside. Lights out, away we go. Good start by Michael Eastwell to slot into second place. By, but it's Niall Murray who leads this one. Neil McLennan is set his third, but for how long? Because round the outside goes Josh Smith, and Josh Smith's got his nose in black through into third place. Great start by Josh Smith. So McLennan is down into fourth place, but it's Michael Eastwood trying to chase arch championship rival Niall Murray out front. A good start to the Camtech Security BRSCC Formula Ford Festival semi final one here at Brands Hatch. And what a superb sight they make coming along Cooper Strait for the first time. Well, very close. This is the quartet dicing over second, third, fourth, and fifth. A little bit of a gap at the moment for Niall Murray and Josh Smith now second. This is a very impressive drive from Josh Smith from fourth on the grid. And it means that Michael Eastwell and Neil McLennan getting stuck in with Jack Jake Craig around the outside line. Then it's Joey Foster trying to join in as well. Joey started in fifth place. He's in the red car, Joey Foster. The uh, 2018 Furman chassis qualified fifth for his heat. was third in his first race of the weekend. But at the moment, Niall Murray from... Josh Smith, Michael Eastwell in third, not looking as happy as perhaps people thought he might be. And then it's Neil McLennan in third. Jake Craig in fourth place. Outside line here for Joey Foster. He's going to have a look maybe at the inside line going into Paddock. No, he's not. They're all keeping themselves in good position at the moment. Now the question is, where is Michael Eastwell? Michael Eastwell, nowhere to be seen. And that, there he is, he's out. Michael Eastwell is out of the festival. One of the favourites, the man who set the fastest lap in qualifying, is out of the race. You can see the frustration. It means we've got Niall Murray out front now. Josh Smith in second. This is the battle for third place between Neil McLennan, Joey Foster and Jake Craig, the American, proving to be a star once again. You can see the wave yellows where Michael Eastwell is out. We also lost David Nicol, Michael Thompson from this race as well. Josh Smith has got the fastest lap, but Niall Murray is going to back up his heat win with a semi-final win. He'll just be hoping to grab the fastest of the two semis to take pole position for the final of this year's festival. So Murray closing up on Ian Geary and Ian McCullough, I think that is. No, it's uh, Ian Geary and Dan Fox, I beg your pardon. So look at the lap chart, he's closing down, he's being waved at by Jerry to go to the outside line, which he sees. Murray crosses the line now to win the first semi-final. Josh Smith second, Neil McLennan third from Joey Foster and Jake Craig. Colin Mullen next from Guillaume Chabot, then David McCullough, Geoffrey Orient from Stuart Goff completing the top ten. Abdul Ahmed next from Luke Cooper and Max Maserati, Michael McPherson and John Spenson in 15th. Then Jason down, Henry Charts, Colin Murphy and Jack Kemp in 19th. Now, Murray, um, firm favourite now. Michael obviously having a disaster as well. I know he had some serious pace, but now he's completely out of contention and you've absolutely dominated semi-final one, which I think is going to give you pole position, considering the next one will probably be more of a battle than what you just had. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter here whether you start first or second. It's, you know, first pole isn't, isn't the best place to start and second is a bit further back, so it's kind of equal. Um, obviously, Paul is, is that, that little bit of an edge, so yeah, I'm happy enough. Um, unfortunate to see Michael, you know, parked up on, on, on the grass. He was obviously very quick, uh, very quick all weekend. He was chasing that win all year in the national championship and didn't, didn't quite get it. it. Was so close, so yeah, you know, he, he was looking strong this weekend, and unfortunately, obviously, something broke on the car. So um, yeah, it, there's, there's still a lot more people um, that, that are on the pace as well. I was struggling big time in that semi. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it was just the tyres. So yeah, we'll see. Neil, well done. Um, a solid position for the final. It's not going to be pole like last year, but you can still win from the third row. Yeah, no, uh, not pole this year, but uh, we'll see what we can do. But no, delighted with that race. Stayed out of trouble, you know, so no, happy. Well done. Thank you very much. Avon Tyres 
semi-final two for the Formula Ford Festival is ready to go. On pole position is heat winner Matthew Cowley. Alongside him is Keith Donahue. Now Donahue was really strong yesterday, has come from racing in America. In fact, if we've got a chance, we'll have a really quick chat with Keith. Keith, kind of under the radar a little bit yesterday in the heats, you were really strong. Came close to winning the festival last year, which led to the Indy ticket, which led to a drive in America last year. You've got to be back here for the win today. Yeah, Joe, that's the aim today. Uh, I suppose we probably won't be happy with anything else, but uh, we had a few problems with the, the car ball weekend, and hopefully they've ironed themselves out now and we'll give this semi a good shot, and then hopefully we'll be in it by the end. Good luck. Thanks, Joe. And with that, I'll hand it to Richard. Semi-final two, heading out on track. The Avon Tyres semi-final two with Matt Cowley on the front row of the grid with Keith Donegan. Then it's Ollie White and Chris Middlehurst. Carter Williams on the third row with Matt Round Garrido, Peter Dempsey and Jonathan Brown on row four. Fifth row, Rory Smith and Tom MacArthur. Then Felix Fisher and Alan Davidson. Adriano Medeiros and Gary Sykes on row seven. Vincent Rademacher and Matt Chisholm on the eighth row. They're followed by Sebastian Melrose and Ryan Campbell. Stuart Kestenbaum and Steve Barlow, Henry Campbell and Rick Morris on row 11. Complete grid of 30 cars here, ready for the second semi. And it's the black and yellow machine of Matt Cowley that gets away well. A good start by Ollie White, who looks up the inside line on Keith Donegan to take second place. So the red car into second place is Oliver White. A good start from him. Keith Donegan, a oh, little bit of Argy Bargy behind. Donegan on the inside line trying to reclaim second place as they go up into the... And Donegan spun! Keith Donegan, one of the fancy runners, spins. He, he's going to rejoin, but a fair way back down the grid. One of the fancy runners taking a spin, but out front, it's Matthew Cowley here leading. Ollie White looking very racy indeed. In second position, the Medina Sport JL17. Qualified second for the heat, is second in his heat, and now challenging for a front row slot in the final. What drama here in the BRSCC Formula Ford Festival. So here we come then, here's the battle for the lead, and Ollie White looks to the outside line, going high, wide, and handsome to quote Brian Jones going into Paddock Hill Bend. Superb Formula Ford racing from those two. And look, you've got to say, White seems to have more momentum here. Wide line into Druids, but it's still Matt Cowley in the Van Diemen who holds on to lead position at the moment. A little bit further back, a challenge there by Chris Middlehurst in white on the inside of Matt Round Garrido. Middlehurst front end looks a little bit snaky, and Matt Round Garrido is out of the race. Well, certainly, he's going to be, if he's not out of the race, he'll be a fair way back. So, major drama. Round Garrido third in the national championship with, with, with Donegan and him going, what an action-packed... Well, I'll tell you what, Joe Tanner said in the holding area this is going to be a more fraught semi-final. You know, they're all fraught, given the quality of the drivers, but he was absolutely right in that regard. Ollie White, he's got momentum, Oliver White, here. Second in the heat, first in the semi-final. But talk about momentum, Peter Dempsey has it too because he's come through, qualified seventh, fifth in the heat, and he's up into third place. So that really augurs well for his final two, the returning Peter Dempsey. But Ollie White's going to win the second semi. White continues on his way, closing in on Laurie Hughes in the Van Diemen RF78. And he nips through on the inside. We just catch a glimpse of Laurie. There he is. But it's going to be Ollie White to take win in the Avon Tyres semi-final two and fastest lap as well. Here he comes down towards the chequered flag and it's Oliver White that takes it. Matt Cowley second, Peter Dempsey third. Carter Williams in fourth place from Jonathan Brown. Then Keith Donegan, great recovery into six ahead of Alan Davidson, Seb Melrose, then Tom MacArthur and Felix Fisher. Noel Robinson next from another good recovery. Matt Round Garino, Vincent Radebecker, Ryan Campbell, Matt Chisholm in 15th, Rick Morris 16th with Gary Sykes, Mark Armstrong and Adriano Medeiros. Um, Semi-final two winner. We don't think it's going to be pole position for the final, but it's certainly going to be front row. Um, you've used your new rubber there. You've got the older stuff for the final. Still doable, though. It is. I mean... I don't think that race took too much out of them because there were a few laps under the safety car and I managed to keep it smooth towards the end. So I think there's plenty left in them. 
And you almost won the World Hayes last year. Was it yes, the year before? I can remember you leading for a long, long time, and then it ended in disaster. You're kind of due a big win, either the festival or the World Hayes, aren't you? Yeah, it was actually last year. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was leading until the last lap, and then unfortunately, I had an incident with another car. But yeah, I think I am. But you got you got to go and do it, and just, I'll get my head down later, and hopefully it'll come. Well done. Thanks, Matt. Um, you've been featuring all weekend, from qualifying to the heats, and now in the semi-final, still at the front, using your head and not using your new set of tyres. You've got to be going into the final on the second row, but with a good chance of winning. Yeah, I mean, that was the plan from the get-go. Um, we decided that we wanted to save our new tyres for the final. Knew that this heat was going to be a bit difficult because obviously Keith starting second and Ollie starting third. They were both on their new rubber, so we anticipated it being difficult and maybe not winning, but we figured that with the new tyres, it'll be sort of not that difficult to get around and get back up to the front in the final and then give us a good pace later on in the race. Peter Dempsey, welcome back. Um, a long time away from Formula Ford and a tough week, a tough weekend, a tough day yesterday, but it's starting to come good. Yeah, obviously, yeah, great to, to finally get a, a run up to the front there and be able to try hang on to the lads. Uh, it's been a bit of a struggle. Just can't get the car to come off the corners. I lose three or four car lengths by the time we get to fourth gear. So we just keep working away. We're going to change the coil probably for the final and see if that helps us. Uh, but obviously starting the first three rows for the final gives yourself a bit of a shot. But uh, would have liked to probably finish second there if I could. From the Ford Festival, last chance race is about to begin. This is for the people that have had a bit of a disastrous weekend, but it gives them the opportunity to progress to the final. But it will only be the top four cars that finish this race, the top four finishers, that will progress to the back of the final. I'll hand it to Richard for all the action. Thanks, Joe. It's Max Maserati on pole. Vincent Rademecker alongside Michael McPherson and Ryan Campbell, row two. John Svensson and Matthew Chisholm on the third row from Jason Down and Rick Morris, Henry Charles and Gary Sykes on row five, then Connor Murphy and Mark Armstrong from Jack Kemp, Adriano Medeiros and then Jordan Harrison and Tom Hawkins on row eight, Andrew Blair with Derek M. Daly, James E. Hagen and Stuart Keston ball row ten, Dan Fox and Nicholas Gibson on row 11, 30 cars starting this one but realistically we're going to be looking at drivers in the top ten on the grid, a little bit of movement I think there was from Vincent Rademacher um, and he makes a super start, not a great start for Max Maserati from pole position, but he's in fourth, so he's managed, managed to get it up through the gears, not the best of starts for him. It's Ryan Campbell in third place, but it's Rademacher leading from Michael McPherson as they go to Jude's the first time. I tell you what, Max looking a little bit cross with himself there, has a bit of a lock-up going into Jude's, but still in with a good shout here in fourth position as they all try and sort themselves out behind. Long Cooper straight for the first time. Vincent Rademacher is the race leader. Well used to Formula Ford, of course, raced in the British Championship as far back as 1992. Was fourth in the championship that year, then moved into Formula Opal, German Formula 3. You might remember him as Johnny Morbidelli's teammate in the British Touring Car Championship. So. A uh, useful driver coming under pressure from Michael McPherson. It really is good to see Vincent racing again, the Belgian. And third position, Ryan Campbell putting them all under pressure as well. Max Maserati is busy challenging to in fourth place. And up the inside line now looks Ryan Campbell challenging for second place. But he's now mindful in that Reynard of the Swift Cooper right behind him as well. Maserati may not have got the start he wanted, but he's recovered superbly in fourth place. The lead quartet, dicing hard, he shows the nose of the Swift Cooper to the Reynard, challenging for third place. The Reynard in turn is busy challenging Michael McPherson in the Ray, out of Clark Curve. And onto the Brabham straight once again sun starting to dip down in the sky as we get towards the end of this fantastic meeting once again Maserati still chasing hard and a challenge on for the race lead from Michael McPherson once again now we're being told by race control there is a penalty for Vincent Rademacher and Michael McPherson being out of position on the start, that's going to 10 second penalty will put them out of qualifying for the festival final for sure and it means that it's going to bring up John Svensson and Jason down into it so well the spectators here are going to be watching the outright battle for the lead which is still with Vincent Rademacher but what a drive from 
Max Maserati who's come through and is up into second. He's busy fending off Michael McPherson at the moment, but Maserati leading the race on the timing clock and he's challenging for the lead. This is uh, early days in the Formula Ford career for Max. And what a race he's had here. He's putting the veteran under big, big pressure. He wants to take the wheel. I'm not sure if he knows about the time penalty or not. Probably may not do so as they come off the clock over the last lap. Radebeck is going to take the chequered flag by the look of it. But Max Maserati is going to take his first Formula Ford win. He challenges on the inside line. And they were virtually side by side as they cross the line. But Max gets it. Ryan Campbell second. John Svensson third from Jason Down and Gary Sykes. Matthew Chisholm six, then Connor Murphy, Ivan McCullough eight from Chris Middlehurst, Jack Kent completing the top ten, Jordan Harrison next from Radamacher, McPherson, Tom Hawkins and Andrew Blair, Jamesy Hagen next from Derek M. Daly, Stuart Kestenborg, Dan Fox and Thomas Johansson 20th. Max, well done. Um, a race win, but a race win you didn't even know about, I could imagine, until you came into the pits at the end. Yeah, I had no idea. Like I was thinking you know, it was close to being a photo finish, and I was fighting my hardest for that win, and then they both had 10-second penalties, so it was like, ah, oh, could have just sat in third there. And it could have been a nice, relaxing victory. Yeah, I know, but you know, I've got to, as I said, like, I you know, thank uh, the team for like the car. The car's brilliant, and I've got to thank everyone for getting me here today. My nan, she's been my biggest fan and supporter. She's given me most of the funding to actually be here. So if it wasn't for her, you know, I wouldn't be able to be out there racing. And in the final. And in the final. And thanks again to Camtech for sponsoring the event. Well done. Thanks. Thank you. Ryan, well done. Um, did you know about Thank the time you. penalty? It's put you into the fi festival final. Uh, yep, I knew they were there. Uh, they went. I think they went on the red lights, not whenever red lights out. So I knew it was there. Just wanted to hang in. It was quite tight up the front. And uh, the main aim was just to make the final. I knew there was no point getting involved. Just sit back and uh, take my grid and uh, my place in the grid in the final, so delighted. Well done, L I'll let you go and get ready. That's great, cheers, thank you. So after all of the heats and semi-finals, we finally have the Formula Ford Grand Final lined up behind me, ready to go. And again, on pole position, Niall Murray. To be fair, you've got to say he's been the most consistent. He's won it twice already, and if I can just quickly grab him. Niall, if I can grab you for a quick chat. Um, I've just picked you up as I walked over here, saying you've pretty much been the most consistent man. You have to be the favorite. You're starting from pole position. You could be about half an hour away from festival win number three. Yeah, don't, don't speak too soon. Um, there's a long way to go until the jacket flag, but yeah, I'm really, really, really happy that we found a problem with the with the brakes. Finally, all week I really struggling with it, and I kept saying to you on the body, I'm not feeling that comfortable, um, and finally I found it. So, yeah, no, I'm really, really looking forward. There's a lot more pace in me. Uh, what's the plan here? There's no holding back. It's just going to be absolutely flat out, and I, I know you want to try to make a break because if you can get that gap where you don't have to defend, you know it's over. Yeah, it's always the, the first lap or two with me. If I if I get that break and break the toe, it's you know I can just put the head down and I don't have to defend and. It, it, those guys will struggle to, to match my lap time, so once I can do that, um, you know, that, that that's the plan, that's what, I, that's what I'm hoping for. I've seen you do it before, good luck. Thanks. We'll keep moving. Um, Ollie White, in fact, we don't need to go too far, Ollie's right here. Yeah, yeah. Ollie, um, front row of the final. We mentioned earlier on, you were really close to winning the Walter Hayes last year. You came within a lap of winning it. Yeah. You deserve a big win, but you're going to have to pounce quite quickly, I think. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect plan. I want to go a little bit further. I want to go all the way back down to sixth place to a familiar face to Formula Ford fans, a familiar face to the festival. He's uh, moved to America, so he doesn't race here anymore, but it's Peter Dempsey. Um, he's won just about everything going. Peter, turn around. Um, I just bigged you up as I was walking over saying you're a familiar face to Formula Ford. You've won just about everything going, but you've never won this one. No, I never won this one. I actually gave up trying like 2010. I just gave up. But, uh, you know, seven year break, came back and more of enjoyment than anything else. But obviously, we'll see if we can. Uh, you can't give me, Peter, more enjoyment. You want to win. If you're not winning, you're not enjoying it. I know that. No, you, know, you want to be at least competitive and give yourself a shot to win it. You, you know, festivals are hard to control if you win them or not. Obviously, I know that more than anyone. So. Hopefully to win the year, I don't have the pace to win the year, make it a bit look into a festival win, you know? Yeah, you're in the mix P6, it's going to be tricky, but you can do it. You need a bit of drama up that end, though. Yeah, I need a good start um, and a bit of drama, but 
pretty common. I can probably maybe get the third by turn by turn one or turn two anyway, Drood. So if we get the third and can hang on to the group and settle in, we'll see what happens. Good luck. Thanks. One more. You just built up alongside me, Joey Foster. Joey, you've been a little bit under the radar today, but I know that you're always in the hunt. You won this event last year, seventh. It's gonna, you're going to need some drama at the front and a bit of luck, but you can still do this. That's it, yeah. I mean, the car's been getting better and better. We only jumped in on Wednesday, so we've been sneaking along and uh, getting a few results, but P7, we can still do something from there, and we, we will try for sure. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers. And with that, the Formula Ford Festival for 2018 is heading out on track, and I'll hand it over to Richard. Thanks, Joe. Niall Murray then looking to take the title again. Ollie White alongside Josh Smith and Matt Cowley on row two. Then Neil McLennan and Peter Dempsey. Joey Foster and Carter Williams on row four. Foster, of course, last year's winner. What a quality field. Jake Craig and Jonathan Brown next up from Colin Mullen and Keith Donegan. Guillaume Archambault and Alan Davidson. Then David McCullough and Sebastian Melrose, Jeffrey Orient, Tom MacArthur, Stuart Goff and Felix Fisher ahead of Abdul Ahmed and Luke Cooper, Matt Round Garrido and Max Maserati, followed by Ryan Campbell, John Svensson, Jason Down, Gary Sykes, Matthew Chisholm and Connor Murphy. What a field. They've been working hard all weekend and it's Niall Murray who starts on pole position. Ollie White to his outside. Good start by all of them. They've all, I think, slotted into their grid slot, so it's Ollie White chasing, and it's Niall Murray, the race leader here. There'll be a few swaps and changes mid-order for sure, but the race leaders have got away very confidently. It's a wide, confident line for Niall Murray. So it's Murray Smith, White, Cowley, McLennan, Dempsey, and Joey Foster, the race leaders at Druids for the first time. What a sight these Formula Fords make. The festival still one of the must-see racing events of the British calendar. It's so close there at Graham Hill, Ben. Three cars all together. They managed to survive that. We've got through the opening few corners. Joey Foster's got a damaged nose. Peter Dempsey, the man who is immediately in front of him. It's not the nose, is it? It's the, uh, the cockpit cowling that's coming loose. Now, I don't know if he'll lose that. He's trying to get back on terms with Peter Dempsey there to the outside line. I think, if anything, Foster's going to lose a place here. He's got one of the Team USA drivers looking up the inside line as well as they go through. There goes the bodywork safely to one side of the spin there. That's Carter Williams, who spun off. Now, is it just the one uh, casual team? No, we've got another car off as well. It might be Gary Sykes who's got off. Red flags. Restart necessitated. Take two for the festival here. Niall Murray will have all the pole position nerves again. It's something he's probably used to. Josh Smith looks up the inside line to grab second position. Smith made a very good start indeed. There are the two Team USA scholarship drivers together. Jake Craig and Colin Mullen. Craig qualified just ahead. But it's a good start for the second time of asking. And Niall Murray did the hard work once again. Oliver White's got more work to do. He's back in third place. Matthew Cowley is in fourth position. You can see from the shadows being cast late in the day here on the final day of the 2018 festival. What a weekend's racing we've had. It's the... You just have to keep that. You have to be consistent through qualifying, heat and semi-final, and then in the final maybe save your tyres as you've heard the drivers say now look at Joey Foster the reigning champion having a look to the outside line the Cornishman uh, is getting stuck in you've got to be brave around the outside line but tags one of the USA drivers and winds up in the gravel let's hope he can get it out might be another safety car uh, potentially but we've lost Joey Foster that's another big name out of the race Joey Foster out of it problems too for Jake Craig uh, Jake Craig being pushed away and that's Max Maserati as well who's off the last chance race winner so we've got the safety car out no it's a red flag again third start here at Brands Hatch let's hope it's third time lucky and away we go and I tell you what wasn't the best of starts there for Niall Murray superb start by Josh Smith who goes to the outside line and Paddock read that well. Murray had done brilliant starts up to that point. 
And this is maybe the time where he needed it, but he's got speed, he'll attack as well. We've got Ollie White in third place, through the dust they go. With, uh, well, we had the oil drop, but the marshals, as ever, have done a superb job of recovering cars, clearing everything up here at Brands Hatch for our final race of the weekend, the 2018 BRSCC Formula Ford Festival. And it's Josh Smith, who's out front, the Cumbrian, who's got the lead, Niall Murray, remember, won the double, the Walter Hayes Trophy and the festival at the age of 21 in 2016. The oil flag is out, You, uh, the drivers will know that. But let's watch now, Niall Murray makes a move, goes to the outside line as they head down towards Barrett. No room there, goes for the cutback on the inside line and Murray's challenging for the lead. Side by side with Josh Smith and Murray's through into the lead, reclaims it. He'll be kicking himself about the start at having to do that work, but he goes through and retakes the lead. Absolutely superb Formula Ford racing. Murray onto the last lap. Josh Smith, though, has not given up. We've seen Murray not have the best of starts on the second restart. Up in the mix as well is Ollie White. It's a three-way battle for the lead. Noel Murray defensive, and round the outside goes Oliver White, and through on the inside now goes Josh Smith. Smith's got the lead. Murray's off on the curbs, gets back on in front of Oliver White. What a climax to the festival this is. There's still time for Noel Murray to come back. He's done it once, can he do it again? A three-way scrap for the lead. Matt Cowley is fourth from Neil McLennan and Keith Donegan, but here come the leaders, and it's Josh Smith still out front. Noel Murray in second's going to have a look on the inside line, but it's closed at the moment by Josh Smith, who's timed that run superbly on the last lap. Is it going to be now inside line for Noel Murray? Down to the checkered flag, and Josh Smith wins the festival. Noel Murray second, Oliver White third, Matthew Cowley in fourth place from Neil McLennan. Keith Donegan takes six from Guillermo Chambeau, then Colin Mullen, Matt Round, Garrido Knight, David McCulloch completes the top ten. Then it was Alan Davidson from Jonathan Brown and Chris Middlehurst, Geoffrey Oriol from Abdul Ahmed, Felix Fisher and Ivan McCullough, Jason Down, Ryan Campbell and Matthew Chisholm complete the finishers. Fastest lap to Oliver White who finished in third. What a climax to the 2018 BRSCC Formula Ford Festival here at Brands Hatch. Congratulations our winner, Joshua Smith. Josh, well done. Um, a shocked face there, festival winner, 2018. We knew you could do it earlier on. You qualified on the second row, and you were sort of quietly confident, in my opinion, but uh, I didn't expect that. No. Yeah, I was always quietly confident. I knew my outright pace was good, and um, obviously we, we had the new tyres for uh, for the race, like qualifying. So I knew the outright pace was there, and the consistency, to be honest. The car was the car's been unbelievable to be honest, throughout the whole weekend. And I think that's ref obviously reflected in my results. But uh, yeah, I didn't expect it myself, to be honest. You had to do three starts, um, and all three of them, because I watched them all, were all of yours were excellent. Niall had one bad one, Ollie had a couple of bad ones, but all yours were perfect. And I think that's kind of what won you this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a few good starts. I, I don't know, the car just, just sat down and went. Um, I, I, there's, no, there's nothing I can say. Um, I just can't believe it's, it's happened and uh, it's, it's been a long season. And uh, You won at the right time, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely won at the right time. Yeah, we've been building up to it. A lot of hard work and effort's gone in by my sponsors and, uh, and the people who have supported me in Oldfield Motorsport. A lot of, ne a lot of late nights and uh, it's all paying off. So uh, I'm lost for words, I really am. Niall Murray, I've never seen such a fake smile in all my days. Um, I actually feel for you because you were dominant and it, it was such a messy final with the red flags and everything and an eight lap restart wasn't really in your game plan. No, um, <clears throat> especially when, when Josh got me off the line, I was thinking, you know, there's only eight laps, but thankfully got him got him on the first lap or starting the second lap. But look, the oil at, at Druids was, was fairly bad. So um, unless you kept your wheels exactly one one each side of the oil, um, you, you, it was really slippy, you had to go around the outside. So once Ollie went around the outside um, and Josh was, was right behind me, I had to defend and obviously my wheels were on the oil and just locked up and went straight on. Um, yeah, bit of, a, bit of a stupid mistake. I'm fairly good at it to, to lose it on the last lap, but yeah, that's how it goes.